Hello and welcome to What The Hey, where I'm your regular host of What The Hey, and today in What The Hey, I am once again answering yet another question. When I go to my notebook of knowledge, I see the question of what the hey is downtown Jacksonville? Now this question was asked by Mr. 2007, so hello to you and thank you very much for the question. Now in terms of a very basic description, downtown Jacksonville is primarily recognized as a business district that is located within Jacksonville, Florida. Currently, a lot of what downtown Jacksonville is used for, as I already kind of said, is for like business entertainment as well as park areas. For the sake of this video, what I'm primarily going to be discussing is the overall history of Jacksonville. Downtown Jacksonville is a small section of Jacksonville and they both have very similar history points. So it's like going over Jacksonville is kind of going over downtown Jacksonville. I of course will have links to the information that I use for this video. So if you do want to look more into downtown Jacksonville, I'll have that information in the description. So to start off with the very early history of Jacksonville, before it was really even called Jacksonville, it was kind of explored and inhabited by different groups. The first primary group that's kind of recognized in overall North American history would be different groups of Native Americans. In this case, with this specific area of Florida, most of the Native Americans that were there were paleo-nomadic Indians. And because these groups were paleo-nomadic, that of course meant that they traveled around a lot. And because Florida, geographically speaking, is surrounded by a lot of water and has a lot of rivers, these groups would use the rivers and the wildlife and the general nature to live. But of course, you have later groups that come across the ocean like the French, the Spanish, and the British who came not only to explore, but to cause war because they're like, we're gonna colonize and get all this land because we can. If you don't really know anything about early North American history, or really any history in general like world history, just know that the British, French, and Spanish all liked to conquer land and they liked to fight each other because they wanted to conquer land. After a while of these different world powers, we get to the year of 1822, specifically June 5th of 1822, when the city of Jacksonville is actually founded. Which one of the monumental reasons as to why it was important to found Jacksonville was the fact that it was founded as a port kind of trade city area. Which unfortunately a lot of the trading that happened there was either cotton or slave trading, which wasn't necessarily out of the norm because it was in the south. However, before I go any further, I do want to explain why it's called Jacksonville, Florida because it just seems like a random name and it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. The reason as to why Jacksonville, Florida is called Jacksonville, Florida is because of Andrew Jackson, whose primary influence is being the seventh president of the United States. However, before that even happened, Andrew Jackson was responsible for a lot of the relocation and kind of removal of a lot of Southern North American tribes. He also was someone who owned a lot of slaves, so it's really not that crazy that Florida was kind of big on that whole operation. Andrew Jackson is also recognized as one of the big proponents and supporters of the Trail of Tears, which essentially also is one of the big movements that relocated and removed a bunch of Native American tribes. He also helped to contribute to the ending results of the First Seminole War in 1818, where Spain essentially gave up possession of Florida to the United States. So before Jacksonville was established as Jacksonville, it was initially regarded as Calford, but through the progression and domination of the United States and the area of Florida, it became Jacksonville. So over the next few parts of this video, I'm essentially going to break up the history of Jacksonville into small chunks. So I'm going to start with the 1830s through the 1840s because around this time, Florida became an official state. And some of the reasons as to why Florida became an official state was not only because the U.S. had the land, but because Jacksonville was once again kind of expanding with being a trading center. And of course, with how Jacksonville was becoming this big trading and port center, the population in general grew a bunch. It grew so much that public schools started to open, so people started to recognize how official this whole business center was. Now I'm gonna jump quite a bit to the 1860s and the 1870s because this period in Jacksonville's history is not the greatest. And one of the big themes around this time was the fact that there was the American Civil War going on as well as general segregation. One of the bigger recognizable wars in Florida and around Jacksonville was the Battle of Alusty. 
which with Florida being a southern state, the main issue that a lot of people had was the fact that slavery and the selling of cotton was a big business in that area. The ending result for this specific battle was that the Confederates did win, so they still held some ground in the American Civil War in Florida. But even after the end of the American Civil War, when the Union side won, there were still issues in Jacksonville and Florida overall, with segregation dealing with voting rights as well as racial riots, so tensions with that were still pretty high. Another big issue for Jacksonville around the 1960s and 70s was disease. The main cause for a lot of the fever that people dealt with around this time was mosquitoes, which people who lived in Jacksonville before they found this out weren't really sure what was going on, despite the fact that they lived around water and rivers, which meant if there was still water, there would be mosquitoes that would carry disease and a lot of people would get sick. So early Jacksonville history definitely has highs and lows because early stuff focused on expansion and then in the middle you had segregation and the American Civil War. And then you get to the 1900s, which kind of started out bad because on May 3rd of 1901, there was a very big factory and building fire, which unfortunately a lot of people ended up homeless from that tragic event. However, there were kind of relief systems in place to help the people out while they were repairing the damage. But then things started to look up again because once again there was an expanding population and some of that resulted from like a film and movie industry kind of inhabiting Jacksonville. That kind of coincided with the fact that there once again was a big commercial and trading base around that area so people were making money. There also was a big push for expressway transportation so people could travel around in general. So overall the expansion of Jacksonville was pretty important. Now for this last little section of the video, I am going to specifically discuss downtown Jacksonville. Which as I said early on in this video, downtown Jacksonville isn't super huge, however it is split up into 8 different districts. Which as I've already kind of mentioned, a lot of what these districts have to offer is commercial, historical, and entertainment purposes. So now I will give you a brief list of the stuff you can check out if you're in downtown Jacksonville. You have got the Bank of America Tower, the Wells Fargo Center, you've got a bunch of different churches as well as the old Gator Bowl Stadium, and then you got some museums of science and history, you have a Ritz Theater as well as a bunch of different parks. So if you have a specific niche that you like to look into when you're visiting new places, downtown Jacksonville probably has something. In terms of my general opinion, I feel like visually, downtown Jacksonville looks like a lot of downtown city areas. I live in an area that's roughly about an hour or so away from Charlotte, North Carolina, and Charlotte, North Carolina looks a lot like downtown Jacksonville, minus like the palm trees. Which I definitely do realize that when people plan out cities and downtown areas, they kind of have to make them look similar to make them profitable and easy to get around. I watched a really interesting video and I'll put a picture of it on the screen and I'll link it in the description of this person who literally just drove around downtown Jacksonville and it looks like how every downtown area that I've been to looks like. The pictures that I've seen of all the different churches and the parks do look really pretty so I think that if I'm ever in downtown Jacksonville that's probably where I'll want to go. Overall, the history of Jacksonville I feel like is pretty interesting to kind of see the timeline of expansion and population growth and then you have the disturbances with like disease and war and then it goes back into kind of being like a bustling city downtown area. I don't think that I've ever been to downtown Jacksonville. I've been in Florida so maybe I've driven through it but I can't remember. But that's essentially the answer to the question and if you have any questions let me know and I'll get to working on them as soon as I can but that's about it. So thank you very much for watching. Bye!